Hi, my name is Chi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. You're watching Petite Dressing. In today's video, I will walk you through the five common body types, and then I will help you find out which body type you are. First, let's look at the five common body types. Hourglass, pear, apple, inverted triangle, rectangle. Now let's start with the hourglass. Hourglass body shape is considered the most attractive and feminine body type by both men and women. If you are indeed an hourglass figure, congratulations, you are very lucky. If you're not sure, let's find out together. A typical hourglass shape has well-balanced shoulders and hips and a much smaller waist. What that means is your shoulders are as wide as your hips and your waist is 8 to 12 inches smaller than your hips. Since we all picture hourglass as this ideal body type, we might be thinking we need to have really tiny waist in order to be an hourglass figure. That's not true. To be an hourglass, you don't have to have the measurements of Scarlett Johansson. A plus-size woman can also be an hourglass. As long as your waistline is 8 to 12 inches smaller than your hips and your shoulders, then you are still an hourglass shape. Now let's look at the pear shape. Pear is another common body type. A typical pear shape has wider hips and prominent thighs. Some of them have full bust and a lot of them have small waist. So sometimes pear shape can be confused with hourglass. A famous example is Kim Kardashian. A lot of websites and magazines think of Kim as an hourglass. However, when she gains weight, you will notice it's mostly on her thighs and her bottom, her thighs are the widest part of her body. So that is a typical pear shape. Now let's look at apple. A typical apple body shape does not have a defined waistline. She could be skinny overall, but she could still be carrying some weight in the midsection, especially on the belly and the waistline. I am a typical apple. That happens to me quite a lot. Apple shaped women come across as a round shape. And your hips are about the same width as your shoulders. Typically, apple shaped women have slender arms and legs. Now let's look at the inverted triangle. The first thing you will notice is your broad shoulders and the smaller hips. That is why you have the name for inverted triangle. Shoulders are the widest part of their body and they tend to have a flatter bottom. Finally, let's look at the rectangle body shape. You may have an athletic build and you do not have a defined waistline. You could come across as straight up and down. Your shoulders, your waist, and your hips are pretty close in terms of their width. In other words, you could come across as a boyish figure because you don't have many curves. The rectangle body shape is known as the easiest to dress body shape. And you will find many supermodels are this body type. So now that you know all the common body types, do you already know which one you are? If it's still not clear to you, I got a simple body type quiz, only four questions. After you answer these four questions, you should have a pretty good idea of which one you are. Question number one. How wide are your shoulders relative to your hips? If your answer is your shoulders are a lot wider than your hips and your shoulders are the first thing that people notice about you, you are probably an inverted triangle. If your answer is your hips are a lot wider than your shoulders, and your hips and your thighs are the widest part of your body, then most likely you are a pear shape. 
If your answer is neither because your shoulders are just about the same width as your hips, then you could be one of the three. You could be hourglass or apple or rectangle. How can you tell which one you are? Now let's move on to question number two. Do you have a defined waistline? If this is too obvious to you and you're thinking how can someone not have a defined waistline, then you are an hourglass shape most likely. If you know what I'm talking about because you don't have a naturally defined waistline, then you are either a rectangle or an apple shape. How can you tell which one you are? Let's look at question number three. Do you have curves? And I'm talking about your chest and your hips. If you're in an apple body shape, you have pretty nice curves on your chest and your hips. And you probably have got a lot of compliments. If on the other hand, if you look like you're straight up and down, and you are more bony versus fleshy, you're probably the rectangle shape. Finally, let's look at the most important question. Where do you gain weight first? When someone is skinny, it could be confusing to tell her body type because she could look like she might fall into any of the categories. However, when she gains weight, that's normally where you can tell which body type she is. If you always gain weight around your thighs and your hips first, then most likely you are the pear shape. If you always gain weight on your belly, probably you are the apple shape. If your weight gain is pretty evenly distributed, and even if you gain weight, your waist is still a lot smaller than your hips, then you are the hourglass shape. The rectangle shape gains weight more on their upper body, and sometimes they accumulate weight gain on their midsection. But the difference of the rectangle versus apple is an apple shape tend to have a protruding stomach, whereas rectangle shape can hide it more easily. The inverted triangle shape tend to gain weight on their upper body and sometimes on their back. Okay, that was the body type quiz. I hope you have figured out which body type you are. If you're still not sure, it's possible that you are a mixed body type, meaning you could have a primary body type, but you also have a secondary body type. If that is you, leave me a comment below and let me know if you want me to make another video on that. If you find this video helpful, if you like this video, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. For more information and styling tips, visit blog.petitdressing.com. Take care, I will see you next week.